Hello, my name is Ruth, and I would like to help you learn new words in English. Join me next for Hello Word Power on Hello Channel. This is Hello Channel. Hello, I'm Ruth Todd. Welcome to Hello Word Power. Welcome today to my kitchen. Say kitchen. Again, kitchen. Correct. A kitchen is the room in a home where meals are prepared and eaten. Are you ready to enter our kitchen? We're going to learn words in English that will help you understand all the things you find in a kitchen. Let's begin. Pan, pan, pan. You try it, pan. Again, pan. Once more, pan. A pan is a container used for cooking and baking that can be used on the stovetop or in the oven. Pans come in many shapes and sizes. Baking pan. You say it, baking pan. Again, baking pan. Yes, baking pans are often square or rectangle shaped. Missy uses a square baking pan when she makes her delicious brownies. Say it again, baking pan. That's right. Sauce pan, you say it. Sauce pan. Sauce pan. One more time. Sauce pan. That's right. Sauce pans are usually smaller and have handles and lids. Benny is famous for his Bernays sauce that he makes in a special sauce pan. Say it one more time. Sauce pan. That's right. Frying pan, frying pan, frying pan. You say it, frying pan. Again, frying pan. Once more, frying pan. Well done. A frying pan is also used for cooking. A frying pan is usually more shallow than other pans. Frying pans come in all different sizes. John makes cheese omelets in a small frying pan. Say it one more time, frying pan. Cookie sheet, cookie sheet, cookie sheet. Now you try it, cookie sheet. Again, cookie sheet. Once more, cookie sheet. That's right. A cookie sheet is a flat pan without sides used to bake cookies on or used to bake other flat foods that won't spill off the sides. Jennifer needs extra cookie sheets because she made so many cookies. Say it again, cookie sheet. That's right. Pitcher, pitcher, pitcher. Now you say it, pitcher. Again, pitcher. Once more. Pitcher. That's right. A pitcher is a large container used to hold liquid to drink. Lana mixed a pitcher of ice cold lemonade. Say it again. Pitcher. That's right. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Hello. That's right, I said hello. I'm talking about an exciting new television channel that will change your life. My name is Ruth, and I want you to be one of the first to know about Hello Channel. Hello Channel is designed to teach you to speak English. Anyone can learn. We offer something for everyone. 
you'll see programming for children, teenagers, and adults, all on different levels. With Hello Channel, you'll hear, see, read, and speak English as you're watching entertaining television programs, making it easy to learn. If you've always wanted to learn English, but haven't had a chance, Hello Channel is perfect for you. Start today and remember, for a brighter future, just say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Measuring cup. Measuring cup. Measuring cup. Now you say it. Measuring cup. Again, measuring cup. One more time. Measuring cup. Correct. Susie used her measuring cup to measure one half cup of sugar needed for her recipe. Say it again, measuring cup. Correct. Measuring spoons. Measuring spoons. Now you say it, measuring spoons. Again, measuring spoons. Once more, measuring spoons. Yes, that's correct. Measuring spoons are different sized spoons, each used to measure smaller amounts of ingredients that are used in recipes. The cake recipe called for two teaspoons of vanilla. Jenny used her measuring spoons to get the exact amount. Say it again, measuring spoons. That's right. Recipe. 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 Now you say it. Recipe. Again, recipe. Once more. Recipe. That's correct. A recipe is the list of all the ingredients and the directions for making all of the different dishes we eat. The famous restaurant chef shared his favorite recipe with all the diners. Say it again. Recipe. Correct. Cookbook. Cook book. Cookbook. Now you say it. Cookbook. Again, cookbook. One more time. Cookbook. That's right. A cookbook is a book filled with all kinds of different recipes. Annie loves cooking so much she collects cookbooks from every place she visits. Say it once more, cookbook. Well done. Hand mixer. Hand mixer. Hand mixer. Now you say it, hand mixer. Again, hand mixer. One more time, hand mixer. Correct. A hand mixer is a small electric appliance used to mix and blend ingredients in a mixing bowl for baking and cooking. Jim whipped the cream with his hand mixer. Say it one more time, hand mixer. That's right. Rolling pin. Rolling pin. Rolling pin. You try it. Rolling pin. Again, rolling pin. Mm -hmm. Once more, rolling pin. That's right. A rolling pin is a kitchen tool that is used to roll out pie crust, bread, rolls, and other types of dough. Wanda used her grandmother's rolling pin to make the best pie crust. Say it again, rolling pin. That's right. Apron. 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 Now you say it. Apron. Again, apron. Once more, apron. Correct. An apron is a protective covering made of fabric tied to your person and used 
when you are cooking or preparing food. When frying with oil, Shelly always wears an apron to protect her clothes. Say it again, apron. Correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Hello, my name is Javier. I learned English. So can you. Watch Hello Channel. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Washcloth. Wash cloth. Washcloth. Now you say it. Washcloth. Again, washcloth. Once more, washcloth. Correct. A kitchen washcloth is used for cleaning a kitchen. It is first wet with water, then used to wipe spilled food and crumbs off the table and countertop. Say it again, washcloth. That's right. Greater, greater, greater. Now you try it, greater. Once more, greater. Yes. A grater is a kitchen utensil used for grating food, such as cheese, into smaller, uniform pieces. Grated food is used for both eating and cooking. Tommy grated two pounds of mozzarella cheese with his grater to make the pizza. Say it again, grater. That's right. Spatula. 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 You try it. Spatula. Again, spatula. Once more. Spatula. That's right. A spatula is a kitchen utensil, also called a scraper. A spatula has a long handle on one end and a hard rubber head on the other. Sam used the spatula to scrape every bit of cake batter into the pan. Say it again, spatula. Correct. Cutting board. Cutting board. Cutting board. Now you say it, cutting board. Again, cutting board. Once more, cutting board. That's right. A cutting board is used to protect a table or countertop from knife scratches. Food is diced and sliced on a cutting board. Mother asks Brian to use a cutting board whenever he uses a sharp knife. Say it again, cutting board. That's right. Salad tongs. Salad tongs. Salad tongs. Now you try it. Salad tongs. Again, salad tongs. Once more, salad tongs. That's right. Salad tongs are used to grab salad from a larger bowl and put it on a plate. Katie used her salad tongs to get a large helping of lettuce and tomatoes. Say it again, salad tongs. Correct. Oven mitts. Oven mitts. Oven mitts. Now you say it, oven mitts. Again, oven mitts. Once more, oven mitts. That's right. Oven mitts are thick fabric hand coverings used as protection for a cook when lifting hot pots or pans. I always use two oven mitts when pulling a cake from the oven. Say it again, oven mitts. That's correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. This is Hello Channel. Come learn English as you watch TV. It will change your life.
Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Pot holders. Pot holders. Now you say it. Pot holders. Again, pot holders. Once more. Pot holders. That's right. Pot holders are similar to oven mitts. Pot holders are usually square or rectangle in shape and do not fully cover a person's hands. Pot holders are used to carry pots and pans that are too hot to hold without some protection. Say it again, pot holders. That's right. Kitchen shears. Kitchen shears. You say it, kitchen shears. Again, kitchen shears. Once more, kitchen shears. That's right. Kitchen shears are used like scissors for cutting food during preparation. Jenny cut the chicken into pieces with her new kitchen shears. Say it one more time. Kitchen shears. Correct. Can opener. Can opener. Now you say it, can opener. Again, can opener. Once more, can opener. Correct. A can opener is used to remove the top from can goods in metal cans. The can of beans must be opened with a can opener. Say it again, can opener. Correct. Bottle opener. Bottle opener. You say it. Bottle opener. Again, bottle opener. Yes. A bottle opener is a kitchen tool used to pry the tops off bottles. Charlie couldn't drink his soda until he found a bottle opener. Say it one more time. Bottle opener. That's correct. Corkscrew. Cork screw. Corkscrew. Now you say it. Corkscrew. Again, corkscrew. One more time. Corkscrew. Yes. A corkscrew is a device used to open wine bottles by removing the cork that is in the top. The wine lover collected corkscrews from many different countries. Say it again, corkscrew. That's right. Meat tenderizer. Meat tenderizer. Meat tenderizer. You say it, meat tenderizer. Again, meat tenderizer. Mm -hmm. Once more, meat tenderizer. Yes, that's right. A meat tenderizer is a kitchen tool that looks like a hammer with spikes. A meat tenderizer is used to pound meat and make it more tender. It is also used to pound meat and make it a desired thickness before cooking. Brooke uses a meat tenderizer on her chicken breasts when she makes her famous chicken piccata. Say it again, meat tenderizer. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. You can learn English if you'll just say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Ice cream scoop. Ice cream scoop. Ice cream scoop. You try it. Ice cream scoop. Again, ice cream scoop. One more time. Ice cream scoop. Yes, that's right. An ice cream scoop is a kitchen utensil that is used to scoop ice cream from a carton or a tub. 
Its shape allows the ice cream to come out in perfectly round balls that fit easily on a cone or in a small dish. Lauren likes to use the ice cream scoop when she makes banana splits. Say it again, ice cream scoop. Correct. Ladle, ladle, ladle. You try it, ladle. Again, ladle. One more time, ladle. That's right. A ladle is a kitchen utensil that looks like a large spoon on a long handle. A ladle is used for serving drinks from a punch bowl or soup from a pot. Grandmother always used her old wooden ladle when she made vegetable soup. Say it again, ladle. That's right. Colander, colander, colander. Now you say it, colander. Again, colander. Once more, colander. That's right. A colander is a kitchen tool that looks like a bowl with many small holes in it. A colander is used to drain water off food such as pasta or freshly washed vegetables. Sarah used the colander to drain her spaghetti after it was cooked. Say it again, colander. That's right. Sieve, sieve, sieve. Now you try it, sieve. Again, sieve. One more time, sieve. That's right. A sieve is similar to a colander, but is made of mesh with even smaller holes. It is also used to drain water off food. Anne poured the gravy through a sieve to remove any lumps. Say it again, sieve. Correct. Sifter, sifter, sifter. Now you say it, sifter. Again, sifter. Once more, sifter. Yes, that's right. A sifter is used to make dry ingredients such as flour finer than normal by passing it through a fine mesh bottom. The fancy tea cake recipe called for sifted flour. So I used a sifter. Say it again, sifter. That's right. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. You're watching Hello Channel. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Pancake Turner. Pancake Turner. Pancake Turner. Now you say it. Pancake Turner. Again, Pancake Turner. Once more, Pancake Turner. Yes, that's right. This kitchen utensil is used to turn food as it is cooking in a frying pan. It is called a pancake turner, but it is used to turn hamburgers, grilled sandwiches, and many other foods. Fred liked to flip his hamburgers with a big pancake turner. Say it again, pancake turner. Correct. Dish towel. Dish, towel, dish towel. Now you say it, dish towel. Again, dish towel. One more time, dish towel. That's right. A dish towel is used in a kitchen to dry wet dishes, pots and pans after they have been washed. Meredith got a new set of dish towels for her birthday. Say it again, dish towels. Correct. 
cooking thermometer. Cooking thermometer. Cooking thermometer. Now you say it. Cooking thermometer. Try it again. Cooking thermometer. One more time. Cooking thermometer. That's right. A cooking thermometer is a kitchen utensil used to tell a cook when the food is done. A cooking thermometer tells the information according to its temperature. For a perfect roast beef, Heather always uses a cooking thermometer. Say it again, cooking thermometer. Correct. Juicer, juicer, juicer. You say it, juicer. Again, juicer. One more time, juicer. That's right. A juicer is a kitchen utensil used to squeeze the juice from fruits, usually citrus fruits like lemons or limes, and use that juice in different recipes. Bradley used the lemon juicer to make a pitcher of lemonade. Say it again, juicer. That's right. I hope you've had fun in our kitchen today, and we hope you've learned lots of words in English that will help you the next time you're in a kitchen. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Hello Word Power.